Hello and welcome to the Boffin Buzz, the podcast for anyone fascinated by farming's future. Hello and welcome to a special episode of the Boffin Buzz. Now you may be wondering who it is that you're listening to today as it's obviously well, I should hope obvious. Um, it's obviously not your usual host, Tom Allen Stevens. Well, my name is Sky Melita. I'm the community manager at Boffin, and my role focuses largely on engaging farmers and encouraging the exchange of knowledge and community thinking. Now, this episode takes you along to the low carbon event where we held the Boffin get together. I managed to catch up with some of our very own Boffin farmers about their farm priorities and discuss on farm trial involvement. I asked farmers to introduce themselves briefly, and then I asked them the same four questions. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you could just introduce yourself quickly, that'd be great. My name is David Fuller Shapcott. I farm in the Scottish Borders on mainly heavy clay land, and it's mostly an arable farm. So, my name is Rhys Jones, and uh, I farm west of Cambridgeshire, west of Cambridge. Uh, we farm just over 1,200 acres, all arable and uh, in a regenerative farming system. Uh, George Renner, farming uh, 300 hectares, of combinable crops, currently got half a farm in SFI and grow a lot of seed crops. What are three key things that you want to achieve on your farm? So the three key things that I really want to uh, achieve on my farm, I've got 10 years to go to retirement, so leaving a sustainable uh, business is certainly something I want to do. Um, I want to leave the environment in a better place than it was um, and to uh, uh, really get cemented the idea of how we're going to farm with less synthetic input in the future. Uh, so the three things that we want to achieve on our farm is to reduce our reliance on synthetic inputs, to produce healthy and nutritious food, and also to increase the biodiversity uh, across the farm. Three key things I want to achieve on my farm is I want to farm profitably, um, I want to farm with minimal environmental impact, and I want to leave the farm in a better state than um, it was when I arrived. Why are you interested in farm trials? So my interest in, in on-farm trials really stems from the need to understand what we do on farm, on my farm, as opposed to a trial which is based somewhere else on different soil types, different weather patterns, different growing conditions, and, and we, you, know, you don't get the results that you need. You need to try things at home to know that they're going to work at home. I think there's two reasons we like doing on-farm trials. Uh, one is it makes farming a little bit fun. It's something away from the norm in the day-to-day. -day. Uh, and also I think it's important to have evidence whether uh, it's a small tramline trial we've done ourselves to show that something's financially worthwhile or whether it's something more backed up like being part of a boffin trial. Interest in farm trials uh, because it gives me uh, data that I know how it's been collected and I know it's relevant to my farm because I've, I've done the trial so um, that's why I'm involved. What are the benefits of farmers getting involved in bringing innovation onto farm? benefits I see from a farmer bringing innovation onto farm in, in, in on-farm trials and things is about making certain it's the right innovation, the appropriate innovation for your own circumstances. It comes back to the, 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 the on-farm trials comment, I guess, too, that if you, innovation is grand, some of it may work for us, some of it may not, it may work for other people instead. So it's about getting it onto our farm and making sure it works for us. Uh, I think that by having farmers involved in trials, farmers have a chance to influence, which I think is important, and to um, help with the direction of travel and hopefully then nudge innovation in the direction that perhaps benefits us and gives things a bit more context. The benefits for farmers um, in being involved is that they uh, get early access to innovative products and techniques, uh, they can shape how those are um, brought to the farm and, and feedback what, what they want from, from the innovation so um, they can have a, 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 an impact right through. How should the government incentivise farmers to increase innovation on farm? So the, the, for, for me the business of, of SFI releases is, is 
interesting but not actually relevant because I farm in Scotland, SFI doesn't apply in Scotland. It's interesting to see what's happening, however. It's interesting to see the direction of travel uh, that, that that is. In terms of our uh, uh, government incentives for uh, improving uh, uh, innovation in Scotland, we've been struggling with that a little bit and I think that's something that we're trying to, to uh, uh, address. If, you, if there are innovative things happening in Scotland, it's off people's own bat. And I think that's where government incentives could come in. The Scottish government's very focused on livestock uh, uh, and innovation in livestock and not as much for arable farming. And I think that needs to be addressed. So uh, if I was to pass any comment on the thing, it would be that the governments need to focus on all of the industries and not just one part of it. So I think that the SFI is a fantastic scheme in its flexibility, I think, as we move away uh, from uh, coupled payments. And the next step, I think, to in improve uh, farmer innovation from our angle and our situation would be more money into farmer clusters, because I think they're a great way for farmers to gather together and share uh, knowledge and things they've tried on their farms, things that have worked, things that haven't worked. And um, I think that there should be more farmer clusters across the country to help uh, with these developments and help farmers knowledge share together. Uh, I think the best way the government can uh, incentivise farmers is, is financially, as we all react to market forces. And I think that's, that's possibly the, the easiest method for them to get us to, to innovate. Okay, wow, we really did get some quite interesting responses to our questions there. Thank you to all of our farmers who did get involved with that. We'd love to hear what answers you'd give to these questions, so do pop them down below or head over to the Farming Forum to get involved in one of our Boffin Community Circle Forums. These forums are crucial for knowledge exchange and we're lucky enough to be able to have a variety of industry experts and leading scientists involved. When you contribute to one of the Circle forums, you can expect to hear from these experts in response to your questions or discussion points. So it's a really quick and easy way to gain some really valuable insights. Well, I look forward to hearing your thoughts and seeing you all getting involved within the Boffin forums over on the Farming Forum. But today, that's all from me. So thank you very much for listening for this special episode. Make sure to follow the Boffin Buzz so that you receive a notification when our next episode is released. But for now, that's all. Goodbye.